Good evening, it's Alex Fox here, um, calling you from Nailimpia Competitions. It's episode three in the series, um, Meet the Nailimpia Judges. And today I'm going to be speaking to Sam Biddle of the UK. Um, Sam is, well, has been in the industry for absolutely years. She's been an international educator for Easy Flow and for IBD, working for AII. Um, she's an ambassador for Orly. She mentors competition um, competitors. She's an ex-competitor herself, um, now obviously an international judge, international educator, and works on a multitude of projects. Um, very, very fascinating person. Um, and I have a rather uh, lovely story um, with my journey with Sam. I'm hoping that Sam will um, request to join in a moment. Um, but my lovely story with Sam is when we um, did the first Nailimpia Australia, Sam came over to judge it with me and we ended up being put in the same hotel room. And so uh, we ended up having the most amazing time. I mean, Sam had been writing um, for Scratch, has been an expert voice that I've tapped into in the industry for a very, very long time. So I knew Sam through email and phone calls and meeting at events, but we'd never had this incredible, special, close time together. Um, and sharing the hotel room, we ended up, I'm just going to go live with her, by the way, we ended I think we're waiting for Sam to come in. I'm not sure if I'm still live. So yeah, Sam and I ended up sharing a hotel room for three days and it was absolutely amazing. We learned so much about each other, so much about oh, the happened? industry and we shared so much and a great I'm bond assuming. was created that weekend. So um, I'm assuming I'm live, but now yeah, you've gone black. A lot of things and I'd like to for Sam to tell us all oh, of the great projects that she's working on like at the moment, a particular special one that she's recently started. Um, and to talk to us about her journey Whoa, as an what's educator. what's going on? I don't even know if you can see me mentor, or hear me. Let me see if you're um, on the main thing. Everything that she's done. Now, I'm not entirely sure if That's... my internet is playing a naughty oh. game with me today because it's saying it's connecting. So I'm not sure why we're connecting. I might have to go out and come Where back are you? in Where again. are you? Where are you? Where are you? Yes, this is interesting because normally people just pop in. Like um, the main thing. Oh. my naughty internet. Oh, so Sam is unable to join. So let me just, oh, that's a new one for me. Um, a naughty Friday technical error. Um, Sam, do you want to try again? Because I know that you're there and you must be looking at me um, from the other side of the UK. Um, it's the going into the evening here so happy good afternoon good morning and good evening wherever you are in the world hello monica nice to see you there um right so if sam's unable to join i wonder if it would be all right with you all if i just stop the live and restart it and see if she can pop in and meanwhile i'll turn my wi-fi off and go on to um whatever it's called when you're not on wi-fi <laughs> i'll do that so i'll be back in a sec sorry to be so annoying Oh, no, she's back. Let's see what happens. I hope we get a hey presto. Um, yes, it, this is being very, very naughty. Oh, oh there yeah. she is. Hello, Sam. What happened there? You're so tech, techno heavy. <laughs> How did that happen? I went out. I, I just went out and came back in again. I don't know. I think it was just like a misconnection. I have no idea. I couldn't even find you to start off with. I'm, I could see you on my main computer, but I couldn't get you on my phone. So I had this complete panic mode. <laughs> Well, I'm ever so pleased you're here and joining Thank me you. this this evening. Um, so I've done I've done the the um, my 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 piece my piece about our meet. Well, we've had a long long journey together, haven't we? And then we yeah. had that fabulous fabulous few days. I think we were in the Star Hotel on Sydney Harbour. I think were we? Oh, it was like a it was like an apartment as well, and we had this beautiful view, and it was all our own. We balcony. didn't have to... we had a balcony. Oh, yeah it was beautiful so oh well, yeah I did and I remember that fondly it really was I was terrified that I was sharing a room with you absolutely terrified and um Me too. I just yeah I know and that's what I think what that's why I think we sort of bonded because we we're like okay so if we're honest about it we both we're both worried <laughs> so 
Because we, if you remember, Sam, we, we said to each other, because we were English, we were put in the same room together because they assumed if you're from the same country, you probably really like each other. And we had a neither here nor there on that. We knew each other, but I wasn't sure we knew each other well enough to share a room. But, oh, yeah. but it was just, I remember what you did. You turned around that first night and said, Alex, do you drink white wine? I was like, I really do. And that was it. We cracked open the bottle and then we That's just it. talked about, well, pretty much everything, didn't we? We did. I, I think it was like three, four in the morning. And we were, I mean, we shouldn't say that because we're professional judges. And we actually don't, we go to bed very early. So we're fresh for the morning. But we did, it was late nights talking. We just, I was, at one stage, I'm like, Alex, I, I really have to go to bed now. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a terrible talker. Anyone who knows me knows that, um... Crikey, it's hard, it's hard to shut me up, actually. So <laughs> I can be quite irritating like that, to be honest. But I know. I, I've been talking then. I don't know if you heard, Sam. I talked about the fact that um, you st in my world, you started... I found you when you were working with Easy Flow as an educator. Mm. Those, I was... Those... You were my model. Was you I? were. Yes, you was your first... You were... It was Scratch Magazine. It was the first time you came and you over... You were um, uh, reporting on that educator. And so your one of your hands was me. And then you featured me in Scratch Magazine, that hand. And I was like, okay. Because, I mean, obviously we know what your hands were like back then. And um, so I, I was like, oh. And I had to do this amazing set of nails because Easy Flow was up there with their, like, uh, quality or, or, you know, expectations from you. But then you put me in uh, Scratch Magazine. with We shared you. I shared you with my, my other educator, another educator. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I forgive you. <laughs> so. Oh my goodness, that's a really good memory because I don't have that memory. I've erased it. <laughs> it wasn't that know. bad. <laughs> well, I haven't erased our sharing a hotel room because that was no. such a special time that 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 created a friendship. But um, yes. and that's what I love about the nail industry is I right. I have made some lovely lovely friendships. It's not for me. It's not work. It's just being around really cool people all the time. <laughs> it's so true <laughs> mm, it really is and so sam i've said that you know you you've been a competitor mm. um you're obviously a judge now you're a, a high high-end um educator um and you mentor competitors and you've put you've put um you've put you've mentored teams for nail olympia haven't you i have two teams we're not doing it now next year i it is i said to you the first you were to blame for all of that because you came to the event and you're like in front of everybody well if you all want to do a competition why don't you just get sam to put a team together i'm like what so and they're like yes sam do it do it do it so i had 20 people and 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 the responsibility it was like having children not not in, not that they were children but the responsibility of it yeah oh god i uh, my mouth my heart was in my mouth at the, and then we walked away with six awards oh that's so good sam i will say it's a little bit cheeky of you and i'm going to clear that i'm gonna i'm just gonna say this out loud because it's a bit cheeky of you to say that i put you on the spot because that weekend was i hadn't even been back um from living abroad for very long and you asked me to do a, an after dinner speech which I'd never done one in my <laughs> life before and I it nearly crippled me emotionally and, and my confidence oh my goodness it was the, one of the most terrifying things I've ever done and then I decided out of the blue to do a personal journey rather than a stand up and talk talk work um ended up being a phenomenal experience actually and and very touching experience and opened up a room it, um sorry yeah. didn't opened up yeah. people's hearts and a lot a lot of bonding and a lot of things came from that but that was because you put me on the spot that you had to then be on the spot too you are you paying me back i think it was i mean that speech itself there was there was not a dry eye in the house i mean you touched so many people and i think the reason for that and the, and, and and the one thing about you know, lack of confidence, which is something that I that that I really try and, and help people with because we all have it, is the yeah. honesty. You were so honest in that moment that people recognized it and they saw a truth. And you can always 
only ever respond to somebody's truth. And uh, when you start hiding away from, you know, pretending you're something else, then people see through that. We're all very clever people. And, you know, we all have a subconscious that recognizes things. And I think you in that moment, being completely open, helped other people be open in that moment too. I think it was just so great. Mm. They're really good. It was so, I, a special thing and, and, and an, ob, uh, an obstacle that I overcame. You know, it was a special thing for me too. Very special. <laughs> but so, Sam, let's talk. What got you into nails? Uh, well, it, I will say it was the art. I mean, I, 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 I it, they, you know, it's no secret that actually nails itself isn't what draws me to nails it's the art and then that turned into people um and so it's the people of the industry and their ups and downs and their emotional um you know can i can't i which is why i love doing the competition coaching and and saying you know showing people that they are so much better than they believe they are that is what keeps me in the industry because it's a tough industry but where I started, I literally just was, I just wanted nails to do art on. But at the time, you couldn't be a nail technician. You, well, you had to be a nail technician to get products. And because that was way back with star nails. So, um, so they said, you have to train. And I went, oh, okay, then. <laughs> I was just like, I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. But really, it's art. It was only ever nail art. Always. Um, can, you give, can you give us a year? Because I'm not sure how many years you've been around. Um, my God, that was, that was 1999. Oh, yeah. I've been around longer than you. Yeah, 19... Oh, wait. The, no, wait. Are you sure? So 20... No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> that means that we... No, Sam, that means we met on Nails Plus magazine. Oh, well, then maybe, yes. Yeah, maybe because... Nails... Yes. Yeah, I'm just looking at my my cameras. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. Nails Plus, I did a whole bunch of... Um... Oh, God, I can't remember. My God, I'm nearly 50 already. Like, seriously. But I know that it's 20... I keep saying it's 20 years. So it's 1999. I'm pretty certain it was then. Right. So you're 21, 21, 22 years like me. I'm 20, yes. I, I was 1998. I was September 98. Yeah. So, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. And if I've got it wrong, I can't remember. <laughs> I, had, I, well, I had cancer in 2002. So yeah, it would be 1999 was when I think I did my training. So yeah, because I opened oh, the salon right. two, three years later. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, so so tell me, Sam, over the years, who, what, who have you trained under? What people have inspired you and you've trained with? Um, I think uh, for the most part, the biggest educator that's been in my life was Anthony Buckley. Um, mm. He was the one that really got me into or through the educator, being an educator process. Um, I think the one educator that really showed me that I could do something I didn't think I could do was Georgie Smedley. And she was actually on my team at the time. So we were working together and we were all, you know, easy flow masters at the time. So she wasn't, uh, a, um, a, you know, she wasn't a, a distributor at the time. And we decided to have a play day and she, you know, really put me through my paces with pink and white. And she actually said, ah, oh, you know, that could rival Anthony Buckley's pink and white. I know, I know. I've never done it again. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> a marvelous accolade, isn't it? That's what you want to hear. Yeah, I wow. don't know. She, but she did. It was. It was because of her. Um, Anthony, I think you know, has just been that constant, that constant all the time within you know my journey within the the industry. You know, I also I, I used to have some long conversations with Trang. In fact, I never used to have any conversations with Trang at all. I just used to sit at the other side of the table and listen to him. Because with competitions especially, he would just bleh all of his information. And I'd be like, oh, so that's how they do it. So that it's it's been all of these people, you know, mailing parish and, um, you know, I've, I've had so many great 
mentors and friends within my journey that and they just share and that's what I've loved so much about all of this you know that they that and that's what inspires me because if I've been shared if, if, if people have shared stuff with me I will pass that on you know you've cited some amazing people there of which I know all of them and they're <laughs> all exceptional exceptional nail techs and educators and and innovators so yeah, that's a nice list, Sam. Wow. So um, let's go to talking about you have, you don't just, um, you're not just in the nail world. You have so many elements to, to what you offer now. And I know, for example, on one side, you actually do an art-based set yeah. of courses, don't you? Yeah. Um, and obviously you've got all your nail offering and you're one of the first people to really embrace and have for some time the online education where you've built an entire business around this. Um, a very successful business. You also have the, the Sam and Mel show. Um, you've got so many things to talk about. So just tell us all these amazing things that you offer and then tell us about the latest one that's really exciting. Okay, so the Mel and Sam show, and I will say it's Mel and Sam rather than Sam and Mel, oh, which is very kind of... No, 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 no. Sorry. I, do, I always wonder, I always sounds better Mel and Sam, but it should be Sam and Mel because, of course, I'm the star, you know? <laughs> So that happens every two weeks live on Facebook. We um, we just have a good time. That, that's it. We have some semblance to the show, but it's funny. And uh, if we haven't made somebody cry um, with laughter or wet their knickers, then we haven't done our job properly. So that's basically it. That mm. has confessions and pin twist challenges and all sorts of things. Um, I obviously have online education and I have a membership program as well, but we've literally, we're coming to the end of a challenge. Um, and oh, yes. what I have done towards the end of this year was I clubbed together with five other nail educators and we created a course called 30 Nails in 30 Days. And it's, an, it's a course that you can buy in January, February. It's a standalone course, but you actually, um, at the moment, we're running through a challenge month. month. And we'll bring this back in April with a brand new course. Um, and this challenge month is just it allows the students, we've had a lot of students, join us in that one month just to really hone their skills. And the 30 lessons is anything, Alex. Like I say to the educators, you need to come up with five lessons, whatever you want. So we've had aquarelle, fantasy, simple salon designs. We've had Gwen Dedman, who is doing a US competition, French. And then we've had Katie Barnes and she's doing the UK version. And we've had, um, oh, we've had some amazing uh, nail shapes and so much. So today's, it's all about fantasy today, my lessons today. Um, so that's happening throughout lockdown. We did, I've been doing a nail art at noon and currently, Tonight's the last nail art at night, which is a just a live series, quick nail art done in 10 to 20 minutes that they can use in the salon. But it's just to keep your, I think we lose, um, we lose our ability when we're not working and then we lose our confidence. So just to just work on something, you know, just, just keep mm. your hand in. Um, and then of course, and this is thanks to lockdown, really, and thanks to the 30 nails. The 30 nails was an idea I had in May, and I had to try and figure out a way. You know, I, I did it on the back of a course I did that was very similar, how to incorporate it into the industry. And um, because of that, and because I work with these educators, and because I've helped them develop these courses or, or lessons and shown them how to film and, uh, and all of this stuff and said, yes, you can do this. <laughs> Um, I realized that actually I've got such great infrastructure. I've got an amazing website, which I've paid thousands for and I use, but I could help other educators uh, provide not only a living for themselves, but a service to others. Because not everybody knows who I am, believe it or not. <laughs> and not everybody wants to actually learn from me. You know, they don't want to learn what I've got to offer. They might want to learn, I don't know, Rebecca Rawns just launched her lifting series. And that is literally 
for nail technicians that struggle with lifting and they don't have access or the money to do a one-to-one -one with somebody. So they've got literally an online coach that will say, right, this is how you do it. And it's all of those little courses that these educators don't know how to publish or are publishing in a non-professional capacity. So it doesn't look sexy. Students get sick and tired because they can't find it in the, um, in the thousands of groups that they've got in front of them. So I, I, I want to focus my attention to the educators and help them to grow their online business because as much, you know, you may not like agree, but unfortunately one thing about COVID is that online education has, you know, shown it's, a, it's I think it's a beautiful head, but you know, some people say no. Um, and I think it is gonna be part of this industry. It's part of every other industry. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if, you, if we make sure that it's done right and it's done professionally and it's done with the student in mind, it's not about the educator. The educator done her, has done her work, but now we need to make sure that that student journey and all the things she does, she is successful at the end of it, or, or he, um, is that it's successful at the end of it and has achieved something and has the confidence to carry on. That is what I'm trying to do now. And I thank COVID for that because I would never have done that ever, ever, ever last year. So what's it called, Sam? Oh, uh, I haven't really got it. <laughs> I haven't really got it. It's called, well, I, I've been calling it bio hosting or you know, be inspired online hosting. That's it, yeah. Be inspired online yeah. is, is, the, is the actual new project. And how, so it's launched, it's launched or it's about to launch? It's there. I've got, uh, we've got Claire Bear, uh, yeah. we've got Gwen Dedman, Katie Barnes, Melanie Lewenden, Scarlett Center, Rebecca Orm, Rebecca Isaacs. That's seven. Yes. And can, to I, start off can I ask, can I ask Sam, just so, that, but, but because this is critical, is obviously um, anyone can sign up to take those courses and what have you and join, and, and, and join in that way. Um, is it an invitation to educators to get in touch with you who might be seeking that kind of platform to expand their repertoire? Um, yes, I suppose. I have, I, yes, I, yes, definitely. If you want, I, I want to help you. So I, you know, we'll have a conversation. We'll see what you want to do. You know, there is a, there is a quality that I'm looking for. I'm not going to say no to anybody, but I'm, I'm going to help you. So, um, I, I, and the reason for that is because I'm an educator first and foremost. And if I educate a student, it's the same as me educating an educator. I'm not gonna educate you on nails because you know how to do that already. But I'm gonna educate you on something that I do know about, which is marketing yourself mm -hmm. and producing a good video, voicing over, editing, and doing all the things that I needed to do. So if that's, you know, I can help you with that or if it's there, um, but there, you know, there is a level of commitment uh, as well, and it's it's it should be part of your business, not something that you do on the side. So, we that's something we discuss because education is a profession. It's not something that I'm like, oh well, I'm quite good at this, and 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 all our educators have a qualification to educate. Okay. So, you know, that is is quite important, and, and and our courses, not everybody can join. So the e manicure course coming out you have to have a qualification. I see, there's, oh, criteria, well, to, there's criteria to join a course awesome. and there's criteria to be an educator. So what yeah. you're providing is a very professional, um, all encompassing yes. platform. I'm hoping so, yes. <laughs> it, with a bit of fun as well, because I, I might be a control freak, but I'm a fun one. <laughs> so so um, just, just give us a little bit more on the, on the mem when you talk about your membership. What does this mean, Sam? So Be Inspired Online has actually been going for about five, this will be a sixth year now. Wow. Uh, we started October. Be Inspired Online has, is a membership program. We are now, we, don't, we used to launch it twice a year. It's now open all the time. Uh, okay. You can join. You can join uh, as a, a monthly subscription. It's not monthly subscription. You can do a payment plan or just pay for it. Um, you have the option to have feedback where we work together as you go through each of your uh, modules. And there's um, 
there's quite a few actually it will take you a good if you do a back to back you could probably get it done in four months but most people take a couple of years because you get to play around with us and you're, you're around you know and there's a group and we have fun times so we have a, a every tuesday we have a um a coffee morning a members coffee morning which is a live I, I get to see your faces and all, all sorts and you talk to me and we don't really talk nails we have a good old gossip half the time so it's it's good, that's good. You know? so that, that's it really the membership is is always there it is the first thing that i ever really did online and it's the some of my members have grown with me you know yeah. they've, they've helped me so and sam do you want to talk a little bit about the, the uh the event you run called the event <laughs> yeah the inspired event, the so, inspired um, event. I, sorry the inspired event so we've had to, like you with safari we've had to delay it a full year so our event which is normally in march is happening again this march i literally i have seven boxes of goodies in my house that i've been tripping over because you know everybody that sent us goodies for the event but um the inspired event is for members only it's only for 25 people we have guest educators we have a little mini competition um, we have all of these wonderful things but it we are it will be the last one next year why we're not doing it again because it's a brilliant <laughs> event. I I've know. been twice, by the way, and you I have. love it. I know, and they love you. They absolutely adore you. I think they only come for you. <laughs> We've got Rebecca Isaacs coming this year, oh, and brilliant. she's going to be doing one stroke. I was going to say, if you've seen her do a chimpanzee yes. in one stroke, it is mind blowing. She's That's what she's to... going to teach. She's, she's so teaching incredible. dragons. Oh. She's got this beautiful dragon. So she's going to be doing that. She's also going to be doing the one stroke course on Be Inspired Online. So her course will be on Be Inspired I'm Online. Admit, well. if, if I was a nail tech, I'd want to do one stroke with Rebecca. Having yeah. watched her, I mean, I watched her create that particular, um, that particular design when she was in the Scratch Stars Awards finals. And I remember that we were wandering around the room and just kept peeping over going, what is going on on that nail? Because we, we're very used to people doing flowers. Not that I've got any issue with that. I love flowers. One stroke flowers are stunning. But to see somebody creating a chimpanzee, um, it was, uh, was it a ch No, it was a gorilla. It was, it, it was, a, it was, a, it was a gorilla. Because she, it, we, we were discussing it because obviously she was part of the competition team. And, you know, we were discussing what, to do and you know she was sending us me lots of photos and then she had some with loads of flowers i'm like don't do any flowers don't do any flowers <laughs> so it was like, out, i mean this so, is the thing about competing isn't it that's an important that's a nice link we've got there when you're competing and it's something like um an art category rather than a technical pink and white um if you can do something that's never been seen before yes. you've immediately grabbed the judge's attention because you've got you've got the wow factor so when, once you've grabbed them you then just have to have had the skill to then get the points on top of that that go through each criteria but the the when she did the chimpanzee or the gorilla sorry when she did the gorilla everybody went wow it yeah. was as simple as that um that's you know I mean, and she got there first it's really nice to be the person that got there first isn't it the, that's the one thing about competing and if you are looking at competing when you compete you need to take yourself out of the equation now you're gonna do the work you know what you need to do you're gonna do all the practice but to really really hone your your um your potential this you need to take yourself out of the equation for two reasons one put yourself in the position of the judges and bear in mind, especially like for Nail Olympia and our Nail Olympia Online, genius idea, by the way, um, there are going to be so many categories, uh, so many entries. So you need to stand out. What are the judges looking for? Now, Nail Olympia, have look, all your judges there. You do some research. Go check them out. Stalk them. Look at what kind of things they like, what kind of things they're following. And be strategic because if you are going to do the same as everybody else because you think that's what's going to win 
it won last time. It doesn't mean it's going to win this time. So you need to be unique. And the second reason why you need to take yourself out of the equation is because your confidence is going to be plummeted every time you attach yourself to everybody else's work. And you're going to think to yeah. yourself, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Well, you are entering. That's it. Done. So stop faffing around with the whole, I'm not good enough. You've decided to enter, take yourself out of the equation and be strategic about what you're doing because you know your stuff. You do. Every single nail technician out there, regardless of what level they are, knows their stuff. Otherwise, they would never consider entering a competition. So, so does that go with the line when people say don't, um, compare yourself to everybody else you're actually competing with yourself yeah I, I totally believe that we were talking about this actually last night on the Mel and Sam show and we were talking about Nail Olympia and it is about it's about um because we had a dear Mel and Sam I forgot to say we had a dear Mel and Sam it was about Nail Olympia somebody had written in about uh, 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 wanting to compete and saying that they kept comparing themselves to everyone else and it is about um looking at the reason why you're doing something and you know what is drawn you to entering a competition there must have been an ounce or something inside you that th thought you know i'm good enough that glow that little thing inside you is what you listen to not the, the dark demons around you that say you can't because they're only there to protect you from failing but that little glow that there that's that's your truth that's where you should follow because that's what's going to lead you to success and also I'll... sam you know that oh, oh i'm, I, I'm no, terribly sorry being so rude um it also is a, is a nice thing to remind people as well isn't it that every single person that i've ever given a gold medal to a trophy to a bronze medal a silver medal everybody or every single one of those people walked onto a floor for the first time at some point and were terrified yes yeah absolutely i mean yeah for sure and that actually leads precisely into what i was going to say which was you know the bio hosting or the you know the online education that i um you know i'm opening i'm opening my house up and i don't like people visiting me i really don't i don't like sharing my home i don't like sharing my crisps and i definitely don't want people to come into bed with me other than my husband and i'm about to open my house up to people and i'm doing it because i have this little glow in here that says you know what you are good enough you can lead these people and help them and it doesn't matter about what you might lose or what they might see that your floor might be a bit dirty it doesn't matter because you need to do this and if i hadn't have had the idea then i would never have done it do you, do you know what i mean so if you have the idea to enter it's because you've been shown to do it yeah definitely well we've just had a little message there sam which is rather lovely saying mm -hmm. please can we just um say again who did the gorilla because this person wants to see it so am i right in saying that rebecca isaacs's name is she called finicky nails or oh yeah she is yes. finicky nails yeah is she called uh, finicky nails on facebook yeah uh no i think it is rebecca isaacs let me just find her so basically if, if you just if you actually do rebecca isaacs um yeah. you should be she should come up no nope, she does not i, I have think, told her off i think this. she's on facebook as finicky nails which is f-i-n-i-c-k-i -I nails um that's where i found her the other day yeah. um yeah. and for the person who just asked the question um oh, it, was, it was actually um rebecca's uh oh no it's it's not she's on yeah you're right she's on facebook as finicky nails but she's on instagram as ecky b which is e-c-k-b right so so the person you're looking for is is a nail is a nail educator called rebecca isaacs she's in the uk mm -hmm. um she's finicky nails on facebook she's ecky b on instagram the the gorilla was her entry as one of the, the five finalists for scratch stars awards which is a uk um awards system and she won with that was it was it 2019 was it last year she won i can't remember i know yeah i think it was last year okay um, so did so. you say sam did you say that she's 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 on the new platform be inspired online yeah. is she teaching the gorilla on that 
she will she 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 will be um we haven't got her listed yet and she hasn't filmed that course yet but she will be doing the courses on um uh you know and, and again with rebecca this is she is the prime example of why i want to do this because she she doesn't have a place to like she's she's got this she doesn't looking have a at her stuff to, she doesn't have a no. platform to actually share no. and the thing is is that she's absolutely phenomenal amazing she does, isn't she she's phenomenal and yeah um, and i imagine that if if you were if anyone were to go on her facebook page and have a scrolly down the, that gorilla is bound to be on there somewhere yeah. because she won with it she she must be extremely proud and i know that yeah. the judges were all really complimentary um with that entry they everyone was blown away that day it's really beautiful you're very welcome bell by mail <laughs> um yeah so so sam give us um um a typical day because i know your day starts like freaky early when the first time i ever <laughs> asked you i nearly i nearly passed out i couldn't believe it tell me what a typical day for a typical for day is. okay so I do get up early because I do believe that we are work our best. We're our most creative first thing in the morning. Yeah, what's um, your, I, what time is your first thing, Sam? It's it's stupid o'clock. Yeah, well, it's five o'clock. Although sometimes lately it's been six because I've just got a new bed. Oh, six is, is fine. I could have sworn you said four thirty to me. The first oh, time you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way back then. Uh, yeah, four. I've got older since then. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's five o'clock. Um, and then I um, I go in the hot tub, uh, I take my meds, um, and then you go in the hot tub for 20 minutes in order for me to move. Um, and then I meditate, um, read, uh, whatever I do. If I work out only twice a week now, I used to work out five times a week, but I only do, I'm only allowed to do it twice a week. Um, so I'm generally in the office by nine and the reason why I say by nine is because I used to come in here at half past seven and I needed to have some kind of balance and I you know I I, I do work a little bit beyond you know later at night but um so I mean I'm trying to be in here at nine sometimes like this morning I was in here at eight but I try to be in here at nine um typical day i have a meeting with ethan in the morning first thing because now thanks to covid i don't have anybody in the office which means that it can be an absolute bomb site and nobody needs to judge me um and uh, so uh, he works from his home um we have a meeting in the morning we plan our day we decide what we're doing and i literally have a list so we either whether it is uh, needing to do some social posts and marketing or building at the moment i am literally building so we're working with the educators for the april uh, 13 hours and i'm building be inspired online courses um and then we have if i have one-to-ones or telephone video meetings to um you know mentor you know if i have that in the week i, I i've had interviews this week which you know two <laughs> like i had an interview with a blogger in new york no, Atlanta, actually. Sorry, I lied to you. Good. I don't know what I thought. Yeah, no. <laughs> so that's it. That, you know, my day is pretty much here, or if I'm lucky, at my nail desk developing. But uh, most of the time, though, it is here, which is my favorite place. I, I love, I love, I've been working on my website today. So I've been fixing up user roles and really boring stuff but yeah it's like <laughs> i don't know what a user things. role is what is a user role <laughs> well it's just when when you join our website and you uh, my educators have a specific user so they can get into their back end so when somebody has an assignment they yeah. can check they can check the submissions and answers and, and reply to the, the oh, I client see, students. I see what you mean. So that's exactly what we have at Scratch and I didn't know it had a thing. It didn't, yes. I didn't know it had a name. <laughs> I clearly have. have my own user role. You do, yes. <laughs> so Sam, um, can, you, uh, can we finish up then? Because I think we've covered, we've covered everything, which is lovely. Could, you, could we finish up on you? On you just expressing, I mean, you've, you have um, been part of the Nail Olympia journey for a, for a long time now you've oh, been oh yeah just calling oh, me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously doesn't know as yeah. another male olympia judge that i'm in the middle of a male olympia live <laughs> 
What is she She's like? not watching. That's what it is. I know. How naughty is she? She's, but she's very naughty. naughty. She's got a huge launch going on that's being, um, that was actually uh, put I out on it. social media today. And we're, we're breaking the story tomorrow. Oh, uh, full of story tomorrow morning. So that's exciting. Mm. Um, so, yes. Back to my question was, um, yeah, because, because you, you have been journeying with me for a long time, you obviously do believe in the ethos of Nailimpia and you're very strong supporter of it. And like I say, you brought two teams there and mentored them through it. What, what is the value of, of competing? In oh. That's the second call. Right, what's Sorry, the value that. of competing? What did and, you say? And, um, and 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 the value of Nail Olympia, do you see as as a, as 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 an offering? So um, the one thing that I've absolutely loved is the fact that you've pivoted and Nail Olympia is now online. And I think really, I mean, I know you probably are going to go back to it being a, a regular show, but I do think that there is a place for this kind of thing done properly because not everybody can afford to go to a competition. And like you said before, not everybody has that confidence to put themselves in that situation in front of people and, and, and being able to do an online competition to start off with is good. Now at Olympia, I think what it does is it gives, it gives people um, or nail technicians the opportunity to be part of uh, a part of the industry that is striving to be better. You know, we are constantly evolving and changing and every single competitor that goes to the to the competition floor which is valid you need to be there because you need to mix with these people yeah. they have something to share because they are developing something in the moment of their competition as are you when you compete when you sit there and you do a, a mixed box set or when you practice and you're like do you know what if i used if i tilted the file just that way a little bit that's going to save me three three minutes and then you know, in years or months to come, you might show somebody and it, 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 you, you, you are changing a small part of the industry. And that's what competitions do. Not, you know, hit you when you're down and, and it doesn't hurt your confidence. It helps you evolve because everyone around you is evolving too. And if you sit in your salon and you do nothing, um, you will still have the same education and the same development as you did when you first started. Uh, the only thing that you will have is, is a, uh, is a um, what is it when you experience? So um, I believe that education and competing is important, but I don't feel that we approach competing in a, in a, a calm way. I think we, we build it up because we see all of this amazing artwork, like, you know, I'm looking at Rebecca's Isaac stuff and I'm even intimidated by it. And I'm thinking, well, hold on, she's worked jolly hard. Mm -hmm. I know how hard she works. And it's that practice and it's that continual passion. That is what competing is about. And that's when we said before about competing against yourself. So yeah. I think definitely if you get an opportunity and this is a great opportunity to do if to be part of our Olympia online, if you get an opportunity to compete, Alex, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter how bad you are or how good you think you are or whatever. It doesn't matter because you just need to be there. And it has, it has so many layers competing isn't just competing it does have all the layers and and obviously one thing i've really missed this year um is the camaraderie and the buzz and the i was discussing it with jay the other night on our live the the energy mm -hmm. that the beautiful positive energy and yes there's some some energy in there that's there's some anxiety and what have you at the beginning and people you know are gearing up to the, the 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 start of the competition and really focusing on it, but there is a beautiful buzz at Mail Olympia. Mm. I really feel that um, the judges the judges help with that though because when they they spot you 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 choose people that have competed or educated, and 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 you you see it. I see the educators and they you know just that simple. It's okay. Don't worry. 
It's all right. It's but gonna... also, Sam, it's it's true to say that um, I pick judges. The judges I pick are all really, really, really nice, good people. I mean, if there is, oh, what's happened to you, Sam? Did you go? Did you mute yourself? Oh, she did. She muted herself. That's what Boris Johnson did the other day when he was doing a national address. Oh, Sam, you are funny. Well, what's quite fortunate, it was the end. It is the end of our life. Can you actually hear me? Nod if you can hear me. You can't hear me and you, you can see me. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it's funny. Listen, Sam, it's funny because it's okay because we finished. It's all, yes, cool. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us on the live. That is a very funny way. We started funny, we're ending funny. That's just the name of the game. Um, have a lovely weekend and thank you everyone for tuning in. Bye-bye.